Ahead of his first meeting with the Queen as Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd says he's personally committed to a republic, but he won't say when it will happen. St Botolph's Village Church in Kent must rarely have seen a spring day like it in its 13 centuries of existence. A cold snap plunged Britain back into winter and made the Rudd Sunday morning observance a spectacular and freezing event. You OK out here? This right? is a bit different to Brizzy. So. <laughs> the arrival of a new Australian Labor Prime Minister in Britain stirred memories of his party predecessor's push for a republic. But Mr Rudd's message to an intrepid morning TV interviewer was to chill out. And a nice try in terms of a timeline, but I'm not going to deliver one to you. Fifteen years ago, Paul Keating sped into Balmoral Castle for a barbecue with the Queen to tell her it was time for Australia to grow up and have its own head of state. The British tabloids dubbed him the Lizard of Oz. The mild-mannered Kevin Rudd, more circumspect. We are committed to an Australian Republic. I'm a Republican, um, and that is what we will work towards uh, over time. But it's not a top-order priority just now. He says all Australians regard the Queen with much respect. Kevin Rudd's determination not to ruffle royal feathers at the palace set the tone for his formal meeting tomorrow at 10 Downing Street with Prime Minister Gordon Brown. Showing diplomatic skill, he gave Mr Brown a qualified, glowing endorsement. So from an international point of view, I think you've got a pretty good Prime Minister. In London, Paul Bongiorno, 10 News.